And I'm the folks of Warm Ox and the Fab numbers after the name. Game's beaten. Game number 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 of the year. We're trying for the one a week, man. So far, so good. And in this case, we got Color Guardians over here, man. I'm going to give this game a 7 out of 10. Uh, it, it's. It, I played it on the Vita. It's a PS4 a Vita compatible. A lot better to play on the PS4, which is where I recorded the footage over here. Once again, couldn't figure out the cross save thing. I clearly don't have like my Vita set up for it or something like that. As you'll see, especially like the games I'm coming here, where like I, I just don't have them saved. Like I, I have to go back and whatever. Um, but I do have the trophy sync. The one I, I don't know. A little bit strange. Not gonna talk about it anymore. Uh, it's just respect that the fact though that games just don't cross save for me. I have no idea why. Uh, I'm a little bit ignorant of the, of the structure over here. But Color Guardians, man, it was cool. It was a good game to play in the commute, man. Uh, I was looking for something mindless, you know, something that I could just kind of play uh, as almost like second nature. And it, it honestly, it brings a little bit of a challenge to it uh, in terms of just keeping up with the pace of everything. You're basically, it's it's kind of like an auto runner where you're just picking sides and you're also tapping away and switching the colors. The biggest pain in my ass was kind of switching the colors in time, honestly, to kind of hit stuff. And then, you know, you hit it at a certain point to get that perfect connotation to it. So it was a pretty fun game. I got it for free. It was free on the, on the Vita, uh, on the PS Plus uh, for PS Plus subscribers. I don't know, like last one or two months ago, whatever. So for free, it was definitely a good price. But this is a game that I could give like five bucks to, honestly, if I wanted to play it again uh, and enjoy that experience, man. So Color Guardians, man, if you're looking for something mindless, I especially recommend the community, and though it does run pretty damn good on the PS4, though, as well. For Marcos. Doses.